I recently designed an interesting piece of hardware to be able to play a lot of audio at the same time using a Raspberry Pi. The job was to create some kind of box that could play eight different audio files at the same time on eight different unpowered speakers. New audio files had to be able to be loaded via a USB thumb drive, enabling the user to easily switch files without having to use any sort of UI. Everything also had to be under five inches tall and super easy to power on and off. These are photos of the sculpture that is driven by the device. The creator of this whole idea was the artist Sarah Dittrich, who does a lot of very interesting interactive multidisciplinary art like this. A link to her site will be in the description of this video and you should check out the rest of her work. The timeline was really abbreviated so the mechanical design is kind of crazy looking. I had to mount the amplifiers vertically because the bed size of my printer was too small to be able to print them horizontally. This kind of led to a headache with wiring but I only had to do it once and it was easier for me to print this overnight than rather have to prep some wood or acrylic. I also decided to build cable guides into the design and then go with the cheapest audio cables I could find on Amazon Prime rather than spec out and then wait for the perfect cable. The guide Guides also provide a bit of strain relief on the cables. Everything else with the mechanical design is pretty straightforward. Basically, it's a plank with the Pi, power inlet, DC to DC converter, USB hub, and amplifiers all bolted on. Actually, the USB hub is glued into place because there weren't any mounting holes. Electrically, everything is super simple as well. A 12 volt 10 amp DC power supply powers the whole system, and one of those cheap DC to DC buck converters regulates the voltage for the Pi. The amplifiers and the USB hub are all wired in parallel off of the 12 volt line. The speakers are powered by $15 AB class audio amplifiers driven by simple USB audio devices based on the HS100B chip commonly found in USB sound devices. Each channel of the USB devices has its own audio track, which means it gets its own speaker, which are little 4 ohm drivers designed for laptops. The software is probably the most interesting part of this build. It uses the sound device library for Python and has a different output stream for each of the different files on the USB drive. Each of these objects is streaming data to its corresponding corresponding device in its own thread, and then the threads are joined and restarted once the longest file finishes playing. The software loads the audio data from the USB drive into RAM at boot, so once the light on the USB stick is off, you're good to unplug everything. There's a blog post in the description of this video with a bare bones example of this parallel output. Here's a demo of the bench top prototype working, and then after that will be shots of the sculpture powered up. In the blog post in the description, there will also be a list of the parts used to make this build happen if you're interested. Thanks for watching. stuck on each side of our potato heads. Moral to show is hypersensitive.